A bit of movie news, some late coverage on this particular movie news. In which Jonathan Majors, he was found guilty. The verdict made a decision and he's going to get his sentence in February. As far as how I feel about the verdict, I mean, the justice system has never been too kind to black folks, particularly black men. And I felt the evidence they had just didn't add up. But, hey, I'm not here to talk about the court. I'm not here to talk about the law. I'm just going to focus more so on the entertainment side of it. And so, yeah, Jonathan Majors, he's probably going to go away for a while. And then after that, he's just all you got to do is just lay low and then come back, do a couple of small films here and there. And then he'll gradually start to rebuild his career. I feel like Jonathan Majors, yeah, he's in a bit of a slump right now, but he will return eventually. But his time at Disney and more specifically Marvel is definitely done because he got fired from playing the role of Kane the Conqueror. Which, of course, me being a big fan of Marvel, I do have some concerns. Like, one, do not drop Kane the Conqueror, as George Bush once said. You get on that horse, you gotta ride it. So please, just play this story out. I mean, as far as I know, Kevin Feige, you're trying to do damage control, so just figure out what works about Kang and what doesn't work about Kang and see what you can salvage because, hey, we need a big bad, and y'all said this is a big bad. Do not drop this multiverse saga. Just do what you gotta do to... Make revisions so that we can see this through. Come on now, Kev. You got to see this through. <laughs> and most definitely, do not drop Kang for Dr. Doom. In which, don't get me wrong, I, I would love to see Dr. Doom and done properly. But at the same time, if you drop Kang for Dr. Doom, I just feel like that is just cutting him short. And especially cutting him short of introducing him in the Fantastic Four. Or at least teasing him in the Fantastic Four. Give the character of Dr. Doom your time and respect. Do not just drop him here say like oh this is the real big bad and if you do decide to just replace Jonathan Majors a couple of suggestions of mine are James and Idris if you're not seeing Snowfall just watch it that's all I got to say I think he would make an excellent replacement I will say John Boyega but I read something where he said he's not really interested and honestly given how Disney did him dirty with Star Wars I don't blame him so I wouldn't blame him if he didn't want to go back into the Disney pool but he would also make an excellent choice all this Hodge, I mean, the universe that he was just a part of ended, so hey, he can jump ship to Marvel. And he's also an excellent actor that's been in a few things here and there. Hell, I'ma go for it. Get Denzel Washington. Just age Kang up a bit. After all, there are Kang variants, so let this pretty much be the final form of Kang. And, and plus, think about it. Having Denzel act in a Marvel movie? But that's it for my take on Jonathan Majors and what could possibly happen with Kang. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below.